All right, so there's this argument, this endless debate that happens in every single gym, and you've definitely been a part of it. It's the big one. In one corner, you've got the guys who live for the pump. They're all about high reps, lighter weight, chasing that feeling of the muscle just being full of blood. Then, in the other corner, you have the power lifters, the people who believe if the bar isn't bending, you're just pretending. They preach that heavy, and only heavy, is how you grow. And for years, we've all been stuck in the middle of this thing, endlessly scrolling forms and watching videos, trying to figure out who's actually right. But what if the whole debate is a waste of time? What if picking a side in this fight is the very thing that's holding you back from making real progress? I got so tired of the back and forth that I decided to dig through all the actual legitimate science, the real studies, to find a definitive answer. And I'm telling you, what I found is not what you think. The war is over. And by the end of this, you're going to know exactly what you need to do to build more muscle and get stronger, starting today. The old school belief. Let's be real. You can see why both sides are so dug in. You know the classic bodybuilder type, right? They're repping out bicep curls, veins popping, muscles so swollen they feel like they're going to explode. They call it the pump. And it makes sense. You feel it working. The muscle is full. It feels tight. It must be growing. For them, it's all about volume. More reps, more sets, more time with the muscle working. That's the formula. Then you've got the heavy lifters. Their whole philosophy is dead simple. Get stronger and size will follow. They'll tell you a muscle's job is to move weight. So the only way to make it bigger is to force it to move more weight, constantly. They look at the biggest, strongest athletes in the world as all the proof they need. Their entire world boils down to one thing, progressive overload. If you aren't lifting more than you were last month, you're just spinning your wheels. And it's a powerful idea, a no-nonsense approach that has built some seriously strong people. So, who's right? The Scientific Foundation. To get a real answer, we can't go off of feelings or tradition. We have to look at what the science says about how a muscle actually grows. And it turns out, muscle growth, the science word is hypertrophy, isn't magic. It's a reaction, and it's mainly triggered by two things mechanical tension, and metabolic stress. If you get these two things, you get the whole game. First up, mechanical tension. This one's simple. Think of your muscle fibers like ropes. When you lift something really heavy, you put a ton of force or tension on those ropes. Your muscle cells feel that stretch and that force, and it basically sends up an alarm signal to your body that says, whoa, that was heavy. We need to rebuild these ropes bigger and stronger so we can handle that again. That's it. That's the signal for growth. Lifting heavy is the absolute king of creating that tension. Then there's metabolic stress. This is the science behind the pump. When you do a bunch of reps without much rest, your muscles run out of oxygen and all these byproducts like lactate start building up inside the muscle. That plus the blood being trapped in there causes the muscle cell itself to swell up, to get puffy. Your body feels that swelling as a threat to the cell, and just like with heavy tension, it sends another powerful signal. Adapt. We need to get bigger to handle this stress better. So yeah, the bodybuilders were right about the pump meaning something. They were both right. They just didn't see the other half of the picture. So the real question becomes, how do they actually compare when you test them head to head the case for heavyweights. Okay, when the goal is pure, raw strength. This isn't even a debate. It's not even close. Lifting heavy makes you stronger. Way stronger. It comes down to something called the principle of specificity, which is just a fancy way of saying your body gets good at exactly what you do. To get good at lifting heavy things, you have to lift heavy things. Training with heavy weight, think sets of 1 to 8 reps, does more than just create tension. It literally trains your brain and your nerves. It makes your central nervous system more efficient at firing all your muscle fibers at once, especially the powerful fast-twitch fibers 
that have the most potential for growth and force. This is why you can get a lot stronger without even getting much bigger, especially when you first start. Study after study confirms it. You put a heavy load group against a light load group, the heavy load group smashes them every time when it comes to a one rep max. So if your goal is just strength, then lifting heavy isn't just an option, it's a requirement. But is it the best way to get big? The case for high reps. This is where it gets interesting. For decades, everyone just assumed that high reps with light weight were just for toning or endurance. The idea that you could build legit muscle with pink dumbbells was a joke, but a ton of new research has completely flipped that on its head. Multiple, and I mean multiple, modern studies have found that as long as you take your sets to, or right up to the edge of, total muscular failure, lighter weight with high reps builds just as much muscle as heavy weight with low reps. Let me say that again, because it's the most important sentence you're going to hear. For building muscle size, a light set of 25 reps, taken to the point where you physically cannot do another one, can build the same amount of muscle as a brutal, heavy set of 8 reps. The secret ingredient is effort, total effort. When you get deep into a high rep set, you get so fatigued that your body is forced to recruit those same big, powerful muscle fibers it usually saves for heavy lifts. You're making up for the lower tension by creating a massive amount of that metabolic stress and pushing the muscle to its absolute breaking point. Plus, high rep training is often easier on your joints and connective tissues, which is huge for anyone who wants to do this for a long, long time without getting beaten up. So there it is. The proof is in. Both are incredible tools for growth. The verdict, the showdown settled. So here we are, the final moment. Heavy weights versus high reps. Who wins the showdown? The scientific verdict is nobody. It's a tie. The war is over. It's over because the whole thing was based on a flawed question. You don't have to choose. The truth is, since both that heavy tension and that metabolic pump are powerful ways to make muscle grow, the smartest way to train is to stop thinking either or and start thinking and. The research is clear. You can build muscle across a huge range of reps, from as low as 5 reps all the way up to 35, as long as you're training hard, close to failure. To only pick one rep range is like trying to build a house with just a screwdriver. I mean, maybe you could, but why would you when you have a whole toolbox full of stuff that works? The best bodybuilders on the planet don't limit themselves, and you shouldn't either. The secret isn't picking a side, it's using both. Practical application, your new training plan. So what does this actually mean when you walk into the gym tomorrow? How do you use this? It's actually really simple. Here's the battle plan. First, lead with strength. Start your workouts with your big, heavy, multi-joint exercises. Your squats, your deadlifts, your bench press, your overhead press. Do these in the lower rep ranges, somewhere between 5 and 10 reps. This is where you focus on creating that maximum mechanical tension and pushing your numbers up while you're still fresh. This builds your strength foundation. Second, finish with the pump. After the heavy stuff is done, you move on to your other exercises. The dumbbell flies, the leg extensions, the curls, the pushdowns. For these, you aim for higher reps anywhere from 10 to 20, maybe even 25. Here, the goal is to chase that metabolic stress, to totally flood the muscle with blood and just burn it out from different angles without beating up your whole body. You do this, and you get the best of both worlds in every single workout. You get the strength-building stimulus from the heavy work and the pump and growth stimulus from the lighter work. You are literally hitting every single known button for muscle growth no more leaving gains on the table. So, there you have it. The war is over. Science has settled it. The answer is to use everything. You don't have to be confused anymore. You don't have to worry if you're doing it wrong. You now have the knowledge. You can walk into the gym tomorrow with the confidence that your workout is designed for both size and strength. 
Stop thinking in black and white. If this video finally put this whole argument to rest for you, do me a solid and hit the like button. And definitely subscribe. Because I'm always digging for the stuff that actually works and cuts through the noise. You have the knowledge now. Go do the work.